first I hope you are all well and everything is okay in this part I want to mention about the transcendental functions and maybe their derivatives and their limits we classify the functions into two main groups the first group is called algebraic functions and the second one is called transcendental functions transcendental means beyond beyond algebraic functions so all polynomials root functions rational functions and their algebraic operations are all algebraic functions a transcendental function does not satisfy a polynomial equation examples of transcendental functions include the exponential logarithmic trigonometric and hyperbolic functions these functions are important in solving problems in especially engineering physics and mathematics itself let's first start with exponential functions let me clear the board exponential functions actually we are familiarized with the famous exponential function e to the power x but now we have to generalize e to the power x exponential function so an exponential function is a function of the form a to the power x a to the power x here a is a positive constant a is a positive constant and the exponent x is a variable x is a variable here what about logarithmic functions let's say it is exponential if now I want to define logarithmic function if the number a is positive which is not 1 which is not 1 then the logarithm base a x which is called the logarithm of x to the base a is the inverse it is very important is the inverse of what inverse of exponential function a to the power x so logarithm base a logarithm of x to the base a is the inverse of exponential function vice versa exponential function is exponential function is the inverse of logarithm function so for instance e to the power x is the inverse of ln x or ln x is the inverse of e to the power x what about the domain what about the domain of the functions what about the domain of logarithm and exponential function before defining the their domains let's remind let me remind this fact logarithm of x to the base a to the base a is equal to y if and only if the variable x is equal to a to the power y it's very famous result from maybe high school what about the domain of a to the power x the domain of a to the power x domain of exponential function for for many x values and don't forget a is an number a is any number a is a positive number so uh, a is any number so the domain is from infinity to infinity the domain what about the range the range cannot be negative since for all values of x for all since x can be anything can, can be any can be any real number the domain is from minus infinity to infinity but the range cannot be negative cannot be zero 
since a is a positive number uh, and a to the power x cannot be zero or cannot be negative for any values of x so this is why it is range of the exponential function a to the power x what about the, the domain of logarithm of x to the base a let's now discuss the domain of this function the domain don't forget what what i mentioned before i told you that a to the power x exponential function is the inverse of logarithm function or vice versa so if it is the inverse the range of exponential function becomes domain of the logarithm function and domain of the exponential function becomes a range of the logarithm function so the range of a to the x becomes domain of logarithm function and the domain of a to the power x becomes the range of logarithm of x to the base a this is a very famous result from high school now I want to mention about some facts of logarithm and exponential functions some rules some very basic rules let's say x is greater than 0 and a b is also greater than 0 which cannot be 1 which cannot be 1 some some facts the first fact is logarithm of 1 to the base a is 0 and also don't forget the special case ln 1 is also 0 the second result logarithm of x times y to the base a is also so logarithm of x times y is equal to logarithm of x plus logarithm of y to the base a okay third one the division rule logarithm of x over y is equal to logarithm of x minus logarithm of y to the base a of course let's continue and this one is very important and very useful for in our computations logarithm of x to the power y to the base a is equal to you take the power here and you write y times logarithm of x to the base to the base a is very useful result or property of logarithm and what else actually let me write a special case of this result for instance what can we say about logarithm of 1 over x to the base a let me change the pen it's possible to write it's possible to write 1 over x as x to the power minus 1 then it is also possible to take the power in front of logarithm so you have minus logarithm of x to the base a this property is a special case of the above one so what can we say about the properties the other properties of logarithm or uh, i want to give a homework for you it is it is possible to prove all these results all these equalities is your homework please then uh, as soon as you are available please focus on these homeworks and what about derivatives of logarithm functions and exponential functions the function f of x which is logarithm 
of x to the base a is differentiable and its derivative is its derivative is 1 over x times ln a how do we get this result it's possible to get it's possible to obtain derivatives of each functions using the formal definition of derivative what is the formal definition of derivative the, the definition which includes limit it's possible to prove every derivative using the formal definition of derivative so this is your homework how do we how do we get the derivative how do we get f prime of logarithm x to the base a and a special case of logarithm as you know it is ln function so derivative of ln x is 1 over x okay and in what about the general case of logarithm x to the power a instead of x if you write instead of x if you write a function u logarithm of u to the power to the base a derivative of this function is equal to derivative of inside u prime over u times ln base ln a and the special i want to i want to write the special not the special case the general case of ln function if you have a function u let's say instead of x and if you want to take derivative of this you take derivative of inside which is derivative of u u prime over the inside u derivative of inside over inside so let me solve a problem to summarize or to use all these results and properties let's differentiate let's differentiate this function this is our function logarithm of x square plus 3x plus 5 to the base e let me take its, its derivative with respect to of course x so please remember the property of logarithm since you have the base a the base e sorry it is actually ln function so it means you want to take derivative of ln function x square plus 3x plus 5 okay so derivative of ln function is derivative of inside over inside derivative of inside derivative of inside of ln function 2x plus 3 over inside itself x square plus 3x plus 5 okay it's very simple derivative of inside over inside another example another example now the function is ln ln x let's differentiate this function derivative of ln ln x is derivative of inside over inside we have ln function inside of ln so derivative of inside which is derivative of ln is 1 over x over inside so let's substitute this result 1 over x times ln x it is derivative of ln ln x another example now the function is now the function is logarithm of 
x over 1 plus x square okay let's find its derivative derivative of this function is equal to derivative of inside over inside derivative of inside over inside times ln base derivative of inside let's first write the expression itself x over 1 plus x square prime this is derivative of inside over x times 1 plus x square and finally since you have logarithm since you don't have ln you have logarithm don't forget to multiply this expression this expression by ln base which is in this case you have ln 10 so if you find this the derivative of x over 1 plus x square and substitute all this expression you will have 1 minus x square divided by x times ln 10 times 1 plus x square it, it is the result